All right, we're back on the back nine. I uh, literally just stopped the recording for yesterday's video or whenever I uploaded the other one, like two seconds ago. And uh, we've already faced a little conundrum here. Uh, we got a whole family just deciding to, you know, have a, have a picnic right there in front of the basket. Like it's not even a question that we're gonna end up hitting these guys. And there's a dog there, probably gonna run and grab our Frisbee. All right, Drew's gonna toss one in this tree right here. Great start to the back nine, Drew. I don't know if I need to lay up or try to just go over. Just go over, fuck it, I don't give a shit. I mean, they literally could've just come like right here or anywhere over here, literally anywhere. Went right at him, a little low. I know I can throw that disc right in between where they're at because that's where I've been every single time on this hole. Hit the tree. <laughs> All right, Drew, you threw yours into a tree 35 feet from us, so let's see if we can get it up there a little closer now. I right, laid it up. I think he's a little scared to hit these people. It's fine. Left it out a little left. All right, hole 11. We got a 195 par 3. Just straight ahead. We got a low ceiling, but the basket's right there. We're all going straight for it. Oh, uh, left it out a little bit. Uh, not a good place to be. All right, we got BJ over here. This should look pretty, folks. A little high. No. Too far. Too much Anheuser. Too much of this. Too much that. Get over. It's understable. Just throw it to the left. And it'll come back right. You ain't got to force it right. Oh, wait. Here you go. Right by the guardian tree, just outside circle one. I can edit this out, we can all throw another one. All right, here we are, hole number 11. Nobody threw one yet. 195, there's the basket right there. <laughs> it's it's part of the comedic editing that I'm gonna do here. All right, Drew looks, you know, it might be a little deja vu right there. Deja vu, it's almost like we're done with it. Yeah, it's like 30 seconds ago. We got BJ right here, this should look good, folks. And it's pretty. Shout out James Conrad. Throw another one. Here we are, hole number 11, par three and 195. Nobody's thrown one yet. <laughs> hey, I didn't get a second one. Oh, fuck again. <laughs> you know, that, that looks like you might have done that one before, dude. <laughs> Listen, here's, there's a good thing about it is you don't have to walk far to get all three discs. Yeah, BJ right here. This should look good, folks. That one's looking good. Woo! There we go. Parked. It's almost like it took it a few times or something. I don't know. Good thing we're from Kentucky, because I think that may be Park City. All right, here's Drew's second shot right here. Actually, he's not even putting from the right one. That's Brock's. So we're going to go over oh, here. <laughs> All right, left it a little left. This is my last one. I think we'll go ahead. Yeah. Birdie, baby. Hey. Oh. Birdie! All right, that hole was all kinds of fuckity fuck I don't know what kind of editing I can do with this, but we all got birdies except Drew. We all got birdies. Act like there was like 15 people playing. <laughs> there, so. Uh, so we got to record with Brock's phone now. My phone ran out of memory, uh, and his doesn't have like the extra wide angle zoom. So now everything's just gonna be the same. Yo, good shot though. Right there on top of that hill. Oh yeah. Muy bien. Is that right? Yeah. You're the Spanish major, right? Let's see. That's not good. Oh no. I should have turned my wrist more, but it's fine. I'm gonna catch this behind my back. Okay. Wish you could see how little this penis is. <laughs> That's a pretty one. You didn't even film it. <laughs> you filmed your ass. Oh, good shot. Get in there. A little left. All right, Drew, you're gonna come with me. No, Drew's gonna pack the backpack, and I'm gonna film. Drew's lost his rolls as filming. How do you feel? <laughs> God dang, he's still filming. <laughs> uh, inside circle better one. days. Yeah, we're doing all right. Don't leave that Gatorade bottle laying there. Oh shit! Littering kids. It's not good. There we go. Let's see how far we can kick this thing. I'm right here. I'm just gonna knock this bad boy in real quick. Ah, oh, I'm a fucking beast. Mm. I mean, Brock both par this hole. Let's see if Drew can salvage a par putt right here. And he cannot. Drew goes to seven or seven over. I remain five over. Brock, you are now one under. All right, so we're getting a little bit of separation here. All right, rolling up on number 13 here. Par three, 333 feet. Bunch of threes. Not bad, not bad. If it comes around that tree, it's gonna come back. 
Listen, you're, you're looking all right up there, okay? You're on top of the hill. You'll get to throw down at the basket a little bit. Brock right here with the trespass. This is his go-to disc for right now. Throws the shit out of it. It's probably gonna throw it on the highway 400 feet behind the basket, but we'll see what happens. That flexes, it's looking good. That's looking really good. Did it hit the tree? I went through the tree. If it was going around that tree, that's, that's gonna be money. I really wanted it to go through the tree. Yeah, that was, that was looking pretty good. Uh, not too bad, just a little off to the left. Should be good up and down though. Coming up on Drew's shot here. Out to the right, fading back left. Just a little short, should be in putting range. Good shot. I'll take the uh, green putter, you okay? <laughs> I think it's just past the basket, should be inside circle one. We're in a cloud of fucking gnats. Mm, just short. Brock will remain at one under. Drew's going for a par putt right here. Got about a 25 footer. All right, he's got an easy bogey up there, so Drew will go to eight under or eight over. I'm sorry. Brock gonna slam this in there. You got a not so easy par putt. This isn't first person. It's probably good for most people. First person, 15 feet. First person, 15 feet. Uh -huh. Woo, rimmed out of there, man. I got it, Bo. Woo! Keeping it five over for the day. Uh, so we got a one under, five over, eight over. Nice little spread. Rolling up on 14, par three, 340. It's just right down there straight. Yeah, these people always keep your rubbish picked up. Your rubbish? We're in fucking Kentucky. Shout out to Brody Moss, young bloods. Keep your rubbish picked up. The Australian guy that does fish thing? That is, all right, whatever. Oh, shit. Boy. Hey, right down the middle of the god darn fairway. Good shot, Drewby Drew. Drew, how you feeling? I'm feeling. I look fucking good in your glasses, by the way. Rock with his classic fake run up. Oh, nice. Good velocity out of his hands. He's going, he's running it up there. Well, boys, that's about 10 foot to the right of the basket. That's looking really fucking good. You're good. I don't know what just happened. Probably would have been good if I. Low ceiling disc with no low ceiling gap. <laughs> so here we are. We're just walking down the 14 fairway. Brock's got a pretty substantial lead on all of us, all two of us. He's got a six stroke lead on me. He's got a nine stroke lead on Drew. You know, I'm not playing the best today, but I'm not playing horrible. I just had two really bad holes. I'm about to extend that lead because I'm within 10 feet. So here's Drew right here. We're going for Drew's par putt for a solid 150 out. I'm making this. You're making it? I'm calling it right now. I'll give you 100 bucks if you make it right here. It's going in. I'm calling it. Okay. I'm going to get a nice cinematic shot of it. Well, unless a bird picks it up here, you're not looking too good. All right, Drew will be lucky to make his third shot for par. I'm chilling right here. Uh, I spiked mine straight in the ground and still threw it farther than you. How does that feel? That happens. All right, here's Brock's tee shot right here. There we go. Nice little tap in birdie right there. Drew makes his tap in bogey. Then I got to come up here. This is my par putt. Again, not a really an easy shot. And I left it out right, like I always do. I suck at putting. I don't understand it. I'll never be able to understand it. All right, so Drew went up to 10 over. I went to six over. Brock went to two under, so that's fun. Okay, so we got 225, number 15. Basket is right down there. All right, got really fucked up footwork right there. Throws it into the tree, right there at the base of that tree. He's not looking bad. Oh, we got Brock, he's going with his buzz. A lot of wind. There's a lot of wind, a lot of side wind. That's looking good if it climbs. It's got to climb. Uh, he's, he's right about 10 foot short, looking good. Probably a pin high, just, just a little left. All right, he was going straight for it. He's gonna big dick it. I'm at six over right now. I'm looking at about a 30 footer and I gotta go around this tree. Drew is directionally challenged. His disc is literally right here and he thought it was back there. All right, I'm laid it up for par. This is, bogey. this is a par putt. Is it par? Yeah. Still didn't make it, but it's fine. So Drew moves to 11 over. I will remain at six over. And then Brock just slammed a birdie in for three under. So uh, yeah, everybody's looking solid today. All right, we're at number 16 right here, 330 foot. Uh, Brock will probably be able to run one up there. I might get close to running one up there. Drew's gonna have to throw it four times to get to the basket. Nice shot. It's gonna run up the left side of the fairway a little bit. Yeah, you're looking at a good shot right there. You can get you can get there in two. Left it out left a little bit, but it got underneath it. 
So it's right up there by the out of bounds post, which is about pin high. He's looking at about a 30 footer for birdie up there. Good shot. All right, so you are currently three under leading the first round of disc golf ever on Crip Sports here. Uh, you're waving to the crowd, I like it. <laughs> Playing up to the fans. I gotta make it, make it feel like there's people out here watching. So are you shooting for six under? Is that what you're going for? Uh, I got an outside chance here. Really, really long next hole, par three, like 450, 460. Yeah, that's be, a hard one to birdie. It's gonna be really hard to get in position, especially with the wind. Kind yeah. of gonna be a little headwind. I'd be really happy with just anything under par, so I'm in a pretty good spot. We're relatively new into disc golf, been playing for three months now, two, three months. Not even. Not even that. June, June 3rd is when we started. June 3rd. I think I've played maybe 10 times. Brock's played four or five times a week since then. Oh, you're just gonna truck one up there. He's gonna leave it a little short behind that tree. It's gonna be a hard birdie or hard par put to make there. All right, walking up to Crips uh, disc here. Is it weird calling me Crips? It's weird hearing you call me Crips. I'm used to calling you your <laughs> name because I've lived with you. Well, he's he's went the hyzer route. route. A little That's deep, a little deep. Here is Drew's par putt right here behind this tree. Not looking too hot, Drew, if I do say so myself. And your par putt's not looking good either. Oh, okay. Listen, it's not bad, a little layup. Uh, he's gonna have another bogey to his name and send him to 12 over. We got Brock back here, right on the out of bounds stake. He's looking at about 40 foot to the basket, maybe 45. Ooh, laid it up right over top of it. So he's gonna finish with a par. Uh, it's gonna keep him at three under. Drew's gonna go in with a bogey, send him to 12 over. I've got a par putt back here, a little far, about 20 foot. This will keep me at six over. If I can tap this one in here, it's not a tap in, but. The first person that par putt keeps me at six over brock is at three under drew is at 12 over and we're moving on over to number 17 this one's pretty difficult it's a long hole and it is still a par three so it's really difficult to birdie this one we got it roped off here looks like it should be out of bounds but they've got it roped off for little league baseball to keep kind of people off of the disc golf course some people probably play it as out of bounds but yeah we're not going to because we're not that good we're looking at 450 foot that's a pretty long par three for us so we got drew up here who throws it about 175. hey man, he's throwing it good yeah he's, he's you're definitely throwing it good score's not reflecting too well but you know and he he hazards that a little one he's been away from the anheuser release to get the maximum distance yeah he's, he goes out a little bit he's he fades it off just a little bit brock's throwing his trespass which is the furthest disc that he can throw in his bag it seems like All right, that's gonna turn back over and that's gonna be really fucking good. That's pretty far out there. Oh man, he, he leaves it about 45 foot short of the basket, but he threw the shit out of that one, folks. Uh, there's no way I can even compete with that kind of distance. Just waving at everybody going by. Hey. We're here, we're back with Crip here. Go see if he can make it, to the, uh, make it to the yellow rope here, about 200 feet away. Throws it really well, come well out of the hands. Right in the middle. Good shot. All right, here's Drew's second shot right here. Goes left again, but you know, that's actually a pretty good spot to be in. You're still throwing from the shade. You don't have to worry about throwing over a rope or anything for your next shot. Actually, probably pretty smart to throw it over there, Drew. I know you intentionally meant to do that, so good job. I want to see something. I want you to throw a forehand. A forehand? Like that one? There you go. That's a forehand grip right there, buddy. What the shit? You actually threw that solid. It's just. It's in right field over there. He threw pretty far though. That's the thing. You just, you let it out too far to, yeah. down to the right. It's wild because he's throwing them about 50 to 60 yards further than what you were throwing, throwing the backhands. You're like me. I can't really throw backhands that far, but I can, I can pretty much shit on a forehand. Yeah, that, it feels a lot easier to throw. Yeah. Drew just flipped the fucking forehand and parked it. They just parked it under the basket, about fucking threw it in. You just taught him how to throw a forehand 12 seconds ago. I taught him how to throw a forehand, and I don't even know how to throw the forehand. He's a fucking natural. Hey, Drew, can I have that green putter? Are you going to throw the putter from here, or do you want to throw this? You got a tree to go around. When this hits in the tree, I'm not going to say I told him so. Really good. Brock with his pretty long birdie putt. It'd be nice to see him sink this one here. Let it out right just a little bit. Easy tap in par. Remains at three under. That was a fun time. There we go. All right, so Drew stays at 12 over. I guess I'll do another little first person slammer. All right, Brock and I both 
par. Now we're going to number 18 right here, where I have to get uh, nine strokes on you. You have to ace it, and I've got to throw seven out of bounds. I'm going to throw a nice little Zeus forehand right here, and I'm just going to break the middle of that pole in the basket. I'm going to throw an Anheuser putter. You're going to throw a putter? Yes. Because you, you just got a big dick. Let's just zoom in on that motherfucker. Drew, what are you going to do? You going to do a forehand? Forehand. I'm going to try this white one. Here's Drew's forehand. Newly found forehand. Okay. Roller. Roller. That's going to be good. Roller. That's going to be good. Oh, it, it tailed off a little bit to the oh, left. The <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Brock. He's going to throw a putter. Probably it's going to have a decent chance if he can get it down there. Shout out Simon Lazat. It's got a, it's got a key coming. Wow. Wow. So 100% uh, did not mean to do that, but it hit that tree <laughs> and it rolled five foot to the basket. Uh, Brock's gonna finish with a nice birdie on the day, send him down to four under. Hey, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Looks good, go in. Woo! Good shot. We're right over top of the basket. All right, we're walking down the 18th fairway. We're concluding our very first day of disc golf together. Brock and I played together. We've never played with Drew. I think this is his first time playing. First time. First time ever. How you feeling? Uh, <laughs> uh, he did well. competition today, but... I, I appreciate you saying that. Crip, he's my cousin. Me and Drew are brothers. I took my dad out one day. Uh, Crip was making videos and stuff. He couldn't play. I called my dad. He said, hey, let's go play. He said, all right. So let's be in an athletic family. I'm like, he'll take it. We'll be good. Nah. First time ever playing. 40 over par. 40 <laughs> over. We come out here with Drew today. What are you, 12 over? 12 over right now. He's going over. for a birdie putt to go 11 under. We played a lot more open course. We've had some tight shots in here. He played it. Yeah. He did it a couple trees, but everybody hits trees. Hell, I hit trees, and I play I play three and two and three times a week. I haven't got to the four and five yet. Yeah, it's definitely not an easy course by any means. The front nine's pretty difficult on some holes. The back nine's pretty easy. Uh, but Drew, he's done well. I've been very surprised because I know the first time we played, I don't think we did this good. No, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't play a whole lot better if we hadn't showed him the forehand first hole <laughs> yeah. instead of the second I didn't even hole. think about it because he's so new. Like you yeah. don't teach new guys the forehand right off the bat. Run. Look here. Oh. All right, he drops one down by the hole. You're gonna finish your first round of golf ever 12, 12 over. over. So uh, you're not you're a 12 handicap now. So that's that's pretty solid. That's not quite how disc golf works. Is it not? There's a rating system. <laughs> okay. Well. Me being the guy that I am, a nice person, uh, I'm gonna kind of give a little love to the tree. After. Yeah, because he, he fucked that tree. Kobe. First person birdie that motherfucker that counts and we both finished with a birdie on the day you... and uh, i finished at five over drew finished at 12 over make it look like you're throwing the disc okay ah! okay we gotta redo this uh Here, just let me have it take the backpack off this is not a backpack birdie god damn there's shit in there thing of it is we got about a 10 mile an hour crosswind that just decided to pick up birdie put you at what five over for the day five over for the day so a good nine shots behind me. See what he can do. Still that one in there. Sorry, not sorry. So, uh, final scores on the day: Drew twelve over, I was five over, Brock was four under. Four under. So, uh, yeah, like I said, it's a nice little spread between scores. Either way, it's fun. Get out of the house with all this coronavirus, COVID stuff. You yeah. Know, everything's shutting back down. We can get out to this park. So, how you, how you feel, Drew? You got any closing remarks? Any closing remarks? No. Just a tough day on the course and do better next time. All uh, right. He's got, the, he's got the forehand in the bag. He can get more distance. So should be good. Next time we come out, he's going to have another shot that he can work on. Just got to get him to come over top a little bit more instead of leaking it out right. All right. That is the end of the first video ever on Crip Sports. We're going to be doing a lot more disc golf. It's a lot easier for us to do that. Uh, we'll do a couple of wiffle ball games and stuff. I'm building a wiffle ball field, um, building a pool, building onto my house. So I'm doing a lot of things right now. But uh, we hope you guys enjoy the Crip Sports channel. And just drop a like, I suppose. And if you guys like this shit, comment any other sports you guys want us to play. We'll play anything. We love every single sport ever. We'll try to do anything. So. We got a football field over here. There's a football field. We'll play basketball once that field. happens. Well, we've got a baseball field at our house. Yeah, I'm building a football field. It's we've gonna be dope. But, uh, everything. So, but this will be Crip Sports checking out. Is that the sign off? Penis. penis. Okay, penis. <laughs> there we go.